today we are at the El Rio Educational Research and Development Project. As you can see, there are bullet holes in this sign. So let's see what we can find. So now we have a decision to make. Do we go left or do we go right? We could go that way or we could go that way. I think we're gonna go that way. Man, look at these little green beans you can get. Save some money at the store. So it might seem like I'm just walking through the desert, forest area, but soon we'll be coming up to the Gila River. And right there is where I hope to see some critters, some wildlife, some birds, and of course obviously the water. So keep that in mind as you see all this dirt. Eventually there's gonna be water. So if we would have took the other path earlier, we'd have just looped around over here and came down this way and met back up with the path we did take. So not that big of a deal. I know this because I've done it before. Look at that thorn. Yikes. So as you come around this little thing, it basically loops back around where we're going. But if you sneak over this way, that's how you get to the water. And that's where we're going. So there's the path. There's me going over it. You see a little sign there. I believe on the other side it says no vehicles. And we are kind of on a path. So it's not like we're technically leaving the path, right? You can already hear some critters. There he is, running across the ground. They blend in so well. There is the water I was talking about. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to put a little delay on that because if I go down here now, I mean, I have to come all the way back and then go back over there by the mountain. And I wanna go over there first, so we'll come back. Two of them just hanging out down there, cooling off their feet on a warm morning. And these guys are hanging out at the old swimming hole. You know what's annoying is the fact that I'm probably a good 500 feet away from these things, walking quietly, and I swear, all I do is breathe and they take off. Not cool. Oh my god, finally, a crazy snake in the wild. Can you see it? Oh my god. I'm gonna get a little bit closer, but not too close. get time to actually see what it is. That is so cool. Holy moly. Look at him. Right on the trail. And he's not even moving. Holy moly. So I saw my first 
solo snake by myself and it was pretty cool because it wasn't a diamondback I'm pretty sure it actually had some really contrasting colors so it was very easy to make out it stuck out like a sore thumb pretty cool and I'm glad that I decided to skip going closer to the water and go this way first because otherwise I would have missed it now we get to go explore some spooky dark area A little cave up there I think we should go up there and check it out snakes no critters well no critters in here but still pretty cool to check out it definitely is a little bit cooler over here because we're coming up to no man's land you can see it but there is a big bird just hiding out in that bush over there right at the top right there look at that this guy's crazy I think that's one of those black wing red tipped birds because I keep seeing something on it that definitely looks like a red tip. Look at that massive flower. Holy moly. That thing is huge. I'm not gonna put my hand down there, but it's bigger than my hand by far. Well, we have reached the peninsula. The spot where the spot keeps going only if you have a boat. I don't know if you can see them, but there's a bunch of tadpoles, I believe, in the water. Look at that. Little dragonfly. Look at that. I don't know if you can see them, but those are some fish down there. Wow. That's pretty cool. Last time I came out here, well not last time, but a while ago, all this completely under water until you got to the vegetation. And we made it back to the original trail before we blazed our own trail. So real quick, we just came from over there where the car was and we decided come over this way and check it out before there's a little Maricopa trail sign so clearly I'm allowed to be over here
Well, I think that's gonna do it for this random adventure. Saw some pretty cool things along the way. And it's time to get home and have some coffee. Till next weekend.